Yeah, what's up YouTube? It's Mac Mokoma here. And uh, while you're probably waiting for my video about the Stormtrooper armor, I decided to make this short video about my science fiction-y uh, marine armor or something like that that I made for my kids last summer. Uh, I used foam to make it, not EVA foam, but uh, what you call it, cell foam, you know, like camping mattresses, that kind of foam, 1.5 uh, centimeter thick, so pretty thick foam. And uh, yeah, let's check out what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Sorry about the shaking camera. Uh, let's start with the helmet. Get a better light. Yeah, this is what it looks like. The helmet. And uh, as you can see, it's been painted and weathered and some battle damage over there. Um, yeah, because if you can see, that's the thickness of the foam. 1.5 centimeters thick and I made the helmet open because it's very hot to wear so uh, these help to for the air to circulate and and then give the helmet a bit more cooler than it would uh, you know kids wear it they sweat a lot because they like to have fun with this and uh, I didn't make any visor for it because it would be too uh, cramped and uh, <laughs> I would like the kids to be able to breathe in it. Um, yeah, uh, pretty hard to handle. Uh, uh, I put some uh, hot glue on the seams. I use that and I used a bit excessively because I want it to look like it's been welded or or something. And for the foam, I choose this foam because uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, but the texture is is more like uh, metal, like like some cast iron or something. And I, I like that. Uh, first, when it was uh, ready, I used some uh, what do you call it? Plasti dip on the foam so that the paint would uh, stick better. And I used, you can see, green uh, primary paint under there and then olive green paint on the top. And uh, of course, some decal paints over there. And um, uh, made some black washes on it and some black uh, shadowing to make it look uh, I'll give it more con contrast for the helmet and then I dry brushed some uh, silver paint to make it look weathered I don't know if you can see and it makes it look more like metal yeah this is the helmet and next thing would be uh, the chest plate or what would you call it mm. same technique and style uh, battle damage decals more battle damage and uh, shadowing as you can see it gives it more contrast to the paint and of course uh, weathering and stuff and these shoulder, shoulder bells are something they stretch and move. I've made it a bit of light. Made it so that there's some uh, stretch, what are you called, rubber bands or velcro, uh, well, not velcro, but a spandex thing or something like that. As you can see there. And it gives it some flex. So if you move your arm up, it will 
flex. And for the fastenings I used Velcro. It's been used so it starts to come off from here. The hot glue doesn't stick too well in Velcro, but I can show you it again. Uh, it opens like this from both sides and then you can open it and you can get in. And this is what it looks like from the back. Uh, more decals and uh, it's supposed to be some kind of backpack or something like that. Yes, and detail. Decal paints here. Yes. And next would be the belt slash uh, card plate slash butt plate and some thigh pieces. And there are also some rubber bands so it stretches out when you move, also from the back stretches out if you move and inwards and the thigh pieces are also stretch pieces when you move your leg it moves of course and stretches all the way and the fastening for this belt yeah, also velcro and it opens up. It's just pretty hard to show you with one hand. But yeah. Like that. And for the thigh pieces, uh, some kind of pouch or something like that. And on the other side, there's some decal. And for the fastening, there's also this proper bad flexes and also velcro and there's two on either side yeah it looks like that and uh, yeah the next thing uh, the bicep piece just simple piece that goes on your bicep on see show you both sides. This one goes this side, left side and this is on the right side. So it's pretty simple. And this is the fastening also. Velcro. It opens up. That goes close like this. Some weathering also and same paint and Shadowing and stuff. The other one it looks like this. Oh, and those uh, rippers that you might say, see them almost everywhere. They are painted with silver paint and there's some black paint on the pieces to make it pop out more. Oh, yes. Looks like this. And the next would be the gauntlets. Looks like this. Pretty simple, of course. Just some cutoff so you can move your arm. And some uh, details and paint and stuff. And also Velcro fastening. This is the right side and this is the left side so they look a bit different from each other also velcro and the shin guards here that's a knee padding and also velcro attachment, attachments, uh, fastenings and of 
course weathering and stuff. Let's see. And there's a cup for your knee to go. And they have been used quite a bit, so surprisingly they have survived almost without damage. The only damage I'm, I think was this started to go, come off this hot glue. The other one. And these are just for decal purposes, these crevices here. And again, you know English isn't my language, so if you don't understand something, just in the comment section, ask, leave questions, comments, whatever. I will try to answer them as best as I can. And here, what the armor looks like, complete. So there's the sheen guards, the belt and the thighs. Gauntlets, bicep piece, the armor, and the helmet. So I made two of these, of course, because I have two kids. Uh, let's check it out. And this is, in purpose, left quite uh, fragile because, uh, you know, if uh, the kids kid gets some, uh, you know, panic attack or something, you can actually rip this off with your finger and rip the whole helmet off off his head so think about emergencies you never know prepare for anything and these are pretty much the same of course a uh, different battle damage and weathering of course but the design is is the same and those are actually Mickey's initials same as the other other one yeah. and this also looks like it's welded and the armor It's supposed to look like a skull with their birth year 2009 there. And this same thing start to come off the hot glue there. And of course the flex. I don't know if you can see, but there. The hot glue actually uh, holds pretty tight on those areas, even even with these uh, flexing pieces. It holds. And yeah, same guide, bicep piece. And gauntlets. Belt. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Yeah. Hope you like this short video and be patient. I am making the uh, stormtrooper armor as we speak. Progress is slow because I have to work also, so I work on it on my spare time. But uh, so if you have any questions, comments please leave them in the comment section and I will try to answer them as best as I can. I will put a few pictures in the end of this video of the little guys wearing those armor, armors and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon, bye.